Good day and welcome to our celebration as we begin to give praise and thanks to God for blessings. Our gathering chant, Christ be our light. Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the peace of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My friends, we gather once again after a busy day yesterday with snow and they trying to shovel it all yesterday and today, but we come together acknowledging that God is mercy, God is love, and how powerful the words of the opening hymn praise, Christ is our light. Let us ask the light, Jesus Christ, to bless us and their need to allow the darkness of our world to be lit up by the power of God's love as we seek to do good for each other. Recognizing our humanity, our faults, we ask God for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, save us with your wonderful gift of love, for we have come to serve like you and not to be served. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the light of the world. May we who follow you daily be a son of light to others. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, the world cries out for prophets like Jeremiah in our first reading. Help us to be people of courage, to witness to what is truth. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Keep your family, O Lord, schooled always in good works, and so comfort them with your protection here as lead them graciously to gifts on high. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us listen to God's holy word. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The enemies of the prophet said, Come, let us make plots against Jeremiah, for instruction shall not perish from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet. Come, let us bring charges against him. Let us not heed any of his words. Jeremiah prayed to the Lord in these words, Give heed to me, O Lord, and listen to what my adversaries say. Is evil a recompense for good? Yet they have dug a pit for my life. Remember how I stood before you to speak good for them to turn away from wrath, to turn your wrath from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just in the eyes of the Lord. 
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was going up to Jerusalem and on the way he took the twelve to one side and said to them, Now we are going up to Jerusalem and the Son of Man is about to be handed over to the chief priests and scribes. They will condemn him to death and will hand him over to the pagans to be mocked, to be scourged and crucified and on the third day he will rise again. Then the mother of Zebedee's sons came with her, <clears throat> sons to make a request of him, and he bowed low. And he said to her, What is it that you want? She said to him, Promise that these two sons of mine will sit one at your right hand and the other at your left in your kingdom. You do not know what you are asking now, Jesus answered. Can you drink the cup that I am going to drink? They replied, We can. Very well, I tell you, you can drink from the cup. But as for my seats, my right hand and my left, these are not mine to grant, but rather they belong to those whom have been allotted to by my father. <clears throat> when the other ten heard this, they were indignant and said to the brothers, but Jesus called them and said, you know that among the pagans the rulers lorded over them and their great people make their authority felt. This is not to happen among you. No, anyone who wants to be great among you must be your servant, and anyone who wants to be first among you must be your slave, just as the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, each and every day we examine our lives and the question that we could ask ourselves is the same question that Jesus asked the mother of Peter, James, John, the son of Zebedee, can you drink from the cup? If we say yes, that we can drink from that same cup of our blessed Lord, then of course it demands that we must be willing to sacrifice. For the Eucharist, each time we celebrate, is a sacrifice, once again celebrating and remember the events of the Last Supper. So to serve Jesus Christ we must, as we said yesterday, serve with a heart of charity and deal with a heart of integrity. Diedrich Bonhoeffer, who was an evangelical pastor, one of the great pastors in Berlin in 1945, of course, in his part for trying to remove Hitler uh, from power, he was hanged, he was put to death. But in his writings of his own memoirs, Dietrich Bonhoeffer wrote a book called the cost of discipleship. To be a disciple of Jesus Christ is the same reference that Jesus points out to those who are with him, the disciples who were going into the great city of Jerusalem. He said, if you come follow me, then indeed discipleship, the cost will be great. You must be willing to give your lives, to be ridiculed and to be rejected. For indeed, if you say that you come to serve and not to be served, then the world must be first in our attention as we bring justice where there is injustice, and as we speak love where there is hatred, and by our witness we say, yes, Lord, we can drink from that same cup, a cup that is not filled with honey, but rather a cup that truly is the great sacrifice of your life for the church. To speak the truth means, demands rather, that we will experience hardship. That is why the, one of the great prophets in the scriptures is the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah indeed preached the message of God. He was ridiculed and he was rejected. And yet Jeremiah persevered. And so each time that we celebrate Eucharist, each time that we share in the Eucharist, Eucharist we commit ourselves to service, to the service of others. And indeed share generously the words of today's gospel. If we serve generously with a heart of charity and a heart of integrity, then we say, yes, Lord, we can drink from that same cup, for we come like you to serve and not to be served. 
and indeed to be willing to sacrifice our lives and embrace the cross whenever that opportunity may be confronted to us. For the grace to be faithful and for a gift of faith to be renewed each day, let's take a moment and pray for our holy church. My friends, we stand before Almighty God as servants of the gospel, praying that our lives may reflect the goodness of God as we now, with a heart of sincerity, pray for the needs of our whole world. We pray for the Church of God throughout the world. May we continue to witness to the name Christian and proclaim the love of God for all people by word and example, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who lead us in public office. May they have a true spirit of compassion for those who have less and offer assistance for those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves as we journey through this season of Lent. May our prayers, fasting, and almsgiving bring us renewal, reconciliation, and a closer unity with Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are suffering from illness at this time, for those in hospital, and for those whose treatments have been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. May they feel God's presence as he heals and strengthens them each day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith. Today, we pray especially for Joan and Bill Murphy, Mercedes Phelps, Hanson Dalton, Dorcas Giovannini, and we also offer prayers of thanksgiving for WC. May Christ welcome them to the eternal banquet of God's reign. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, at baptism we accept the call to follow Jesus. Be with us as we move along in our faith journey. Send us your Holy Spirit that we might have wisdom for the journey. Help us develop and share our gifts as good stewards that we may use them in love and service in your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My friends, prepare for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we have bread to offer, which the earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we have wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity and forgive me for all of my sins. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the church. <clears throat> Look with favor, O Lord, and the sacrificial gifts we offer you, and by this holy exchange undo the bonds of our sins through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by your guidance and gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacrifice of Paschal feasts, with joy of minds made pure. <clears throat> so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which we have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the great hymn of glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is he who comes in 
Indeed, holy, O Lord, you are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like dewfall, so that these gifts may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice, and again he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to God that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Peter, and with all saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. friends, during this time of the pandemic, we remember all those who are alone, those who carry worries and anxieties, who have mental illness of any kind especially, for those whose lives are truly in isolation and cry out for a helping word of encouragement or a hand of support. We pray for them and for each other in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. We offer each other kindly a sign to peace of Christ. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Jesus light for blinded eyes You take away the sins of the world Have mercy, have mercy on us Jesus light for haunted eyes You take away the sins of the world Have mercy Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of this world, blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that what you have given us as the pledge of immortality may work for our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, once again, thank you for praying with us today. And we wish you and your family every blessing. Just to acknowledge that as yesterday, sometimes our technical problems happen when you're doing those masses. And so if it is delayed, it has something to do with the internet or other connections. So be assured that if it's not at exactly 10 o'clock, within the next hour or so, it should be available online. So again, uh, sometimes we cannot uh, uh, avoid those circumstances. Also, just to acknowledge on Friday, which is March the 5th, it is the World Day of Prayer, as acknowledged yesterday. So if you wish to watch the World Day of Prayer, remembering other nation of the world and how we care and support for each other, that will be available on the parish web as well on Friday. And then I do believe later in that day or so it will be up on Cable 9 if for those who have access to that station in our city. Again, wish you and every family every blessing. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and bless our families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. We go and announce the good news. Thanks be to God, our recessional chant. Thank you. 